How did my student get me for his trainer? Find out. All right, well, my student got to pick me for his trainer pretty much. He did get to pick me. He's been emailing me and contacting me about he wanted me to train him. So he, I asked him if he filled out his referral section. I said, put somebody in there. He put me there. I asked him, I said, hey, if you don't, if you feel like I'm the one that kind of got you out here, then put me down for a referral. So he put me down for a referral. Then he asked me if I could train him. So messaging back and forth, I was like, hey, I don't got a student on my truck right now. I train anybody, anybody that wants to come out here to learn, I, I train them. I'm not tripping. I'll teach anyone. So anyways i said i said look, well come on out here and we'll, i'll train you so that's pretty much where it is right now i met him this morning he shot me a text this morning and he said hey i'm in the cafeteria or actually he just said hey i was wondering if we could meet already i said yeah we can meet i'll be in i'll come in the cafeteria so i guess in between classes he had time and he hit me up to come say hi so I went over to the cafeteria. I met with him. He was a great guy. Sounds like he's really motivated to do this. We met each other, had like a little interview. Seems like we're going to work out great together. He doesn't seem like he's he's not going to be someone that I'm compatible with. So we're going to go ahead and do this work together. And he's going to learn his pre-trip backing and road. And then he's going to test out. That's a little bit about how he got me if you want to put me down as a referral i'm cool with that just don't leave it blank if you want to put me down as a referral i my um name is daniel cox d-a-n-i-e-l-c-o-x driver code c-o-x-d-j-o there's a couple of daniel coxes i found out because they told him which daniel cox are you talking about so i had to tell him my driver code so make sure you put Daniel Cox and my driver code. D-A-N-I-E-L-C-O-X. And my driver code is C-O-X-D-J-O. So that's how that happened. If you're looking to contact me, it's in the description down there is my email. My email is twistedbigd at gmail.com. T-W-I-Z-T-E-D-B-I-G-D at gmail.com that's how you can contact me if you need a if you have some questions or you just want to have me as your trainer i'll train anyone as long as it it works out with our time schedule like i might have a student on the truck at the time you're coming out here so like that's some stuff that i need to work out with you like it's always best if i know ahead of time when you need a trainer or when you're going to be here and everything so we can work it out so i can be your trainer I really look for look forward to working with this guy I got today. He seems like he wants it bad. I'll go out there and check his pre-trip tomorrow and see how his engine compartment is. That's the main one I'm concerned about at first. If he can tell me most of his engine compartment, then I know his heart's into this and he wants to do it. You know, pre-trip is a lot on you when you come out here as a student like it shows us how bad you want this is how good you do on your pre-trip if you want this really bad then it's going to show with your pre-trip if you don't want this really bad or you think prime's just going to hand you a cdl and say here you go you came to our school so we're just giving you this that's not the case out here you're going to have to do the work we don't just hand people cdls we make sure that they're safe drivers and we make sure that they they can control the trailer when they're backing. What I teach is I teach three parts of the moving the moving vehicle when you're backing. You got the tail. That's the first thing you want to put into any spot. And the way to move it is you turn the opposite way that you want it to go. If you want it to go to the left, you're going to turn the wheel to the right. Then the next part you want to get into the spot is the head of the trailer. That's the front of the trailer, the bulkhead, because I'm reefer. We want the head to go whichever way we want it. We turn the wheel the same way. 
So if I wanted to go to the right, I'm gonna turn the wheel to the right. The head's gonna to move to the right till we get it in the spot. Then I teach the nose of the truck. We want the nose of the truck to, whichever way we want it to go, we turn the wheel the opposite way. So if we want the nose of the truck to go to the right, we're gonna turn the wheel to the left. We're gonna back up until we get the nose of the truck in the spot or straight with the trailer. Then it's just a simple pull up, if you need to, and straight line back in. And it's the same thing, you're controlling it the same way. Little bitty turns of the wheel is all you need. That's what I teach. Also, my students, they do all the backing, they do all the driving, what they can do. If they can't hang with me, like if they can't drive the entire shift, they'll tell me and I'll switch out with them and then I'll get to drive. You know, if they can drive those long hours and they can keep on doing it, like I can, like they keep up with the, sh the shift we're on because we're working odd hours. Like right now I'm working nights, I'm parked at a rest stop. So you probably hear traffic every once in a while, the road's kind of far out there, but you can still hear those trucks flying by and stuff. But if you can deal with staying up all night and drive all night, then cool. I'm gonna let you drive all night. Well, I let my students do all the backing, even though if I'm out there guiding them, I'll even get to a point where I start letting them do it on your, their own. Every trainer trains different. This is just what I do. What I do works for me. What works for me doesn't work for other people. But my student that I got today, he seems like he's real eager to learn. He seems like he's open ears, going to listen. And I, I have good good expectations about him so hopefully we hit the road tomorrow i think he clears tomorrow i hope he clears tomorrow i'm going to do some work over there in pa with him after i get back from this trip to new york that i'm on right now i'm going to get him back i'm going to get back tonight probably take me an eight hour sleep or birth break give me a little bit of sleep Probably around noon I'm going to get up, maybe uh, 2 in the afternoon, I don't know yet. It depends how long I'm stuck over here in um, New York with this load. So after that, we'll do our four hours of in-town work, local work, and we'll either hit the road tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, or we'll just go ahead and stay the night and leave out early in the morning to the next day, which would be Thursday. Either way, we're ready to hit the road. I've been in, I've been in PA a long time, like seven days probably. My student, he, my last student, he had um, some nerves on the test issue, so like he was nervous, so he he had a retest, you know, and you know it happens. But guess what? I still got him his CDL, you know, even though he was nervous. We pretty much. We had to get him over, I guess, that test fear. And once he got over that test fear, he did great out there. He's going to be a great TNT for somebody. He drives amazing. He backs good. Like, he was getting it in the truck stops and stuff whenever I was teaching it to him. He was starting to understand that. He's going to make somebody a lot of money on TNT. Well, hit that subscribe button. Shoot me a like over there. Give me that thumbs up. You know, everybody that's been with me, y'all keep coming on and watching these videos. I'm going to have more videos. Hopefully, I'll be able to do some more of my full day again. I kind of enjoy doing that. It's a lot of work, really. It really is a lot of work. So, just if you're going to come over to Prime and you're a new student and you don't have nobody to put down on that referral box, you can put me in there. You can put the other YouTubers in there. We got a bunch of great YouTubers working for Prime. If they're the ones that inspired you to make that decision to come with Prime, by all means, put them in there. Don't put me in there. If I'm the one that kind of helped you and answered your questions and kind of walked you through it, then by all means, put me in there. But everybody, I'm going to get back on the road because I was just going to take a 30-minute break in this rest stop. It's in New York, so it's not the regular parking spots. It's actually the parallel park type of rest areas. There, you know, I can do it. So, 
you know, I park here. A lot of people will drive in here and look at it and say, oh man, I got par parallel park in this rest area. They just go on to the next one. But y'all be safe out there and keep watching these videos. Goodbye.